you ask anyone from Central America what pupusas are, 100%, they know where you're from. That's from El Salvador. We're Salvadorian, that's like our number one, you know, it's pupusas. Basically what a pupusa is, it's a corn masa tortilla, and then you get some cheese and some ingredients that you want to put inside, and you flatten it out. Throw it on the grill. You let it cook for about like seven minutes on each side. Grills the outside of the masa. All those ingredients that you put in there, they fully melt and they just spread out. You get all this melted cheese, all these meats. So I'm happy that we get to show the whole world what pupusas are. Not only that, but our own creations, like the pupusa burger. I have to give credit to a friend of mine named Adan. He would always brag about gorditas. If you're not familiar with the gordita, it's, think of it as like a burger with thin buns. And that kind of like sparked an idea in my mind. I don't have any buns, but we have pupusas. So what we did is we cooked two pupusas, we put chipotle cream on it. You can choose carnitas, pastor, grilled chicken, orange marinated chicken. And then we do pico de gallo, lettuce, guacamole, and we top it all off. When they see that massive plate of a burger come out, it's, it's like a tower, but it's mostly, it's just one of those wow factors. You have so many combinations and so many layers of flavor that people are just blown away every time. You, you can definitely share it if you need to. If you come in with a big appetite, uh, you, can, you can conquer it. But um, it, it gets messy, so use a fork. We came as immigrants to this country and we want to set an example for people like you seriously you work hard and you don't stop. You can have many doors closed in your face. As long as you keep trying one, you'll find one that opens up. Started off with my mom with the recipes at the house that she learned from her mom, my grandma. She worked for somebody else out in Sonoma County and we originally wanted to buy that restaurant and it didn't it didn't fall through, you know, things don't always go according to plan, but we adjusted it. If you really want to go out and succeed, you have to just go and do it. When we finally opened up, it was finally nice to have my mom's dream come true. It's my mom's recipes. My dad has the most awesome name, which is Julio, and it, it rings really well. My little brother, he's got one of the most amazing personalities. That's what I feel pride in, is that I'm able to do something with my family as a team. So for me, it was you know introducing people to food that I grew up eating, uh, my comfort food, and what I was eating at the house. Basically, my mom's pupusas, her recipes, I want people to try for sure the pupusas. After that, for sure the tropical burritos. We want to bring what we know from our culture, from El Salvadorian culture, and go ahead and infuse those into the burritos. And then the pastor tropical, I mean, it's marinated pork, you know, with pineapple, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of chiles in that. We get the rice, we get black beans, chipotle cream, cheese, and then we wrap that up inside of a flour tortilla. With the mango salsa, it's it's amazing. I really I really like it. It's got a nice a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat. I love it when people love their food. I love hearing, oh my God, this is so good. This is the best. It reminds me of my mom. Not only is the, is the food great, but the family's great. And when you come in here and we smile at you and we remember your name, we remember your order, it's because we don't see you as a customer. We see you as a friend and then a family member, no doubt.